Hello everyone, welcome to the Skinny Jean Gun. The show it is Thursday, the I don't actually know what date. What is it? The 18th, 19th, 18th of February. And we're coming to you live, everyone, live on Skinny Jean Garden, the Facebook, and tonight, National Garden and Children's Garden Week. Mark's <clears throat> up, up there. Uh, but hello, good evening, and welcome to the show. For you that know, and this is not going to rhyme entirely, uh, we are live every Monday to Friday, chatting all things garden. And that's right, you may have noticed the uh, big budget disco light. Sim right there. That, that's that's correct. That's because tonight we are celebrating one year. Well, mainly it's an ego boost for me. More of an ego boost. We're celebrating my uh how to get kids garden book. One year on, plus we're talking about kids garden and anything you want tonight, garden and wise. I'm not a an ag- agony agony. Agony aunt, but um anything garden and wise, you're very much welcome to call him. So Jump aboard, me hardies, and uh, welcome to Skinny Jean Garner Show. Facilia. Facilia. Or Pacilio, if you just read it off the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm on. Oh, I can't hear you, on. <laughs> I've done something wrong with the thing. Anyway, elephant poo is what I got. Good evening, Lee. How are you? Great, mate. Your, your, your signal is always terrible, but I'm good, my friend. Excuse me. Excuse me. You got an allotment? When I go, don't put artificial grass on top of me, all right? Are you going to get composted, Lee? Yeah, I'm definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Music fans, this is a good one. Oh yeah, Thursday night, guys. <laughs> grab your tea, grab it wherever it's Thursday, isn't it? So, Richard's having a cocktail. Let me know you're about in the comments. Oh, Richard's a party boys here. I'm more awake than I was yesterday, Rich. I'm more awake. Expect some dad dancing in the next three minutes. Three minutes. <laughs> what is a Moscow mill? <laughs> So tonight, I've got so... I say I've got so much. I've got a lot. I've a lot of different things we can talk about tonight. When I think of them. I've got, I've got our very first box opening tonight. I've got a box. I think something's in it. It's not as boring as just a box. Hold on, Liam's in the house. Hello, Liam. It's been a while. I'm feeling feeling good today, so um, let's make the most of it, shall we? Let's make the most of it. That's right. Who's who's with me on my first day crew? It's like it's Pirate FM. Arr. £2 charity shop. Back in the charity shop days. And we're cel- tonight we're celebrating one whole year of uh, this book. I'll be telling you everything about it tonight. I'll be telling you everything. 
that the last year's held for this bad boy. Ian Bello says it's going to be one of those evenings, Lee. Just ask the A word to back in the next one to play Skin Jean Garner podcast, and she said she'd never heard of it. Alexa, who is the skinny Jean Gardner? Is this song finished? No, it's so down. Sunshine, not finished yet. Thank you. Looking for a video for you, right there. <laughs> it's an important video. It's not on it. It's not on it. What is that video? Let's go. Where's that video? Unbelievable. How are you doing, everyone? Welcome to the show. It is Thursday and we are live. So if you've got a garden question, three attempts, my next I found it. <laughs> um, if you've got a garden question, then please get it in the comments or you can call in or, 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 or you can click the link, everybody, in the, uh, in the comments and you can be zapped in to the live um 0742 if we want to call in a whole year everybody a whole year since i brought this bad boy out how to get kids got i cannot believe a whole year has gone by i'm celebrating with a, a disco light tonight it's really it's really going off in in the house in, in, the, in the shed uh this week uh so we can talk about that i've got this box this box it my shot my dress there. This box here. I know some people might go. I'm gonna open it. I've not actually opened to see what is in it yet. Okay. Uh, but we're gonna look at that. Ian Bella says, Would I kill snowdrops if I move them now? Once I'm out of my dad's garden now and the house is sold. Well, yeah, just move them. Just move them. Yeah, they're not gonna I mean, don't get me wrong, they're not, not gonna love being moved, but if the house is sold and you want them. Get them all. Just go and buy some new snow. I mean, I suppose maybe they're maybe they're special because they're your dad's snow drops. So I sort of get it, Beddoes. Yeah, go dig them up. Anyone else? Pointless leaving them there. You might as well give it a go. If you want, if you're going to keep holding, you might as well give it a go, right? Um, oh, sorry. Uh, right, yes, yeah, so I've got that box to open. Uh, before that, right, yeah, so a whole year since I released the book on to Amazon. Uh, it's available right now, everybody. Uh, but, 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 we also had a launch party, and I don't think that I showed you. Now, I can't find the video. There's a video up, and I wanted to show you. Here it is. Oh, here it is. Right. So we did a launch party. It was in March, right? The start of March. But the book was actually launched in Feb. I want to show you, lovely peeps, the launch party. So uh, sit back. It's only about a minute long. And enjoy. Big up to Suggs for filming this.
Oh, hello. And that, quite a sick. And that, everyone, uh, was the launch party, right? I was, that was probably the last event that ever happened last year. Uh, Mark says, uh, so I don't know if it was being in the pub like that soon after Spring Garden Press event, wasn't it? That's it, Mark. Mark, I invited you, right? I'm sure you, I'm sure you were invited, man. <laughs> uh, no Titch Marsh, no Rich Bridge Brothers, no Celebs, says Bellows. Yes, that's how I wanted it, Bellows. That's how I wanted all the important people there. Um, yeah, I'm so, like, don't get me wrong, I'm so happy about this book. Um, I can't believe it's been out for a year. Let me grab it. For anyone that's not seen it, I know a lot of people, come on, I know a lot of people have already got it. I've already got their hands on this. Um, it's available right now. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's, oh, right, Mark, I'll let you off. Let's see how it's doing, everyone. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Looks already. Let's see how it's doing in the uh, much acclaimed children's gardening book charts. Top 100. Let's have a look, shall we see? Okay, so um, in the garden spot, yeah, we don't need that one. It's £2.69 for that book. Be rubbish. It's too cheap anyway, isn't it? That's this is the top ten. We don't need a let's get going. Yeah, we don't need these the RHS one. We don't need that. That's top ten. Sure, sure. We don't need um any of the yeah, flowers and plants. Yeah, okay. Well, a fluffy cat at 21. <clears throat> don't worry about that, right? So number 28, yep. Yeah. Right. Half right. Everyone just pay, take notes of this. Half plain lined paper book A4. At number 29. Okay, just right. Q Gardens, yeah, right, yeah. Kids book for that, yeah, whatever. Um, for number 47, compost stew. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Some other rubbish there, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's go on the next page, right? We're not seeing compost stews in twice. Not sure how that's possible, but let's just ignore that for now. Oh, and on the charts have changed. Wait, wait, the charts have changed since I've. <laughs> let's have a look. Not... Wait a minute. Get rid of that. Get rid of that rubbish. Wait, 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 wait the hell. So I could be in the. This something could happen in the charts. These charts are, are so all over the place. Wait there. Right here we go. Right, let's flick through it. Right, the charts have changed. Wait, so it could. Act, hang on, wait. If someone's brought it in the last minute, it might be in there. Hang on. Is it in there? It's not on the. Oh, it's not in the top fifty. I didn't want it to be in the top fifty because don't don't want to be too keen. Um, right, we flip past that rubbish. Right, hang on. It's not. Yeah, here we go. Half line paper again, number seventy-seven. That's fine though. That's paper it's needed, I suppose. We seem to be coming out of the top hundred here. Hang on. Right, not in the top hundred. Right, hang on. Um, not in that line paper was in the top hundred, wasn't it? Line paper was in the um, lines paper was in the top hundred of uh, um, skinny jean garden, not even skinny jean. Okay, all right, that's fine. It's just probably lost somewhere. Hang on, wait a minute. Let me just let's um, let's share another screen. Hang on. Let's go on to the book on Amazon. Wait there. Because there must be a like, there must be a probably a problem with it. Oh, something going on. Um here we go. Here we go. So if you go onto Amazon, here it here it is. 30th of January. All right, we're a little bit late. All right. We um great book to uh buy with um Gardening Through the Year and Who Richard's book. Great little bundle there for 40 quid if you wish. Where are, we, where are we in the charts? Just out of the charts at the moment, guys, at 118. But I didn't want to actually, I actually didn't want to be in the top 100 because it's a bit much, isn't it? It's a little bit. We should never look now. Anyway, Amazon Books, it's just crazy that you can um, publish your own books now, which I think is so awesome. And I'm so proud that I, pub I published it myself because no one else published it. Um, and most of all, 
I'm the most proud I've been in the last year is not selling all of the 400 ish copies in the in the last year. Uh, that's not that's not my best moment of this book. My best moment, right, has to be when this little person here, Olive, decided just one night. It's only happened once to say, "Daddy, can we read our book in bed?" It's only happened once, and I, I treasured that moment. Um, so yeah, I think it's a great book. Obviously, I won't. I'm not doing adverts on that. Uh, I think it's a great book. It's packed full of ideas. Someone shout a, a page number out, and I'll tell you what the idea is in there. Uh, so Liam says, "Fluffy, <laughs> thanks, Beddoes. Probably the nicest thing you said. Uh, it's a it's a good book." He says, "What a review." Um, Liam says, "Fluffy cat bribed them." <laughs> and uh, Beddoes says, "How can they count direct sales? They don't. They don't. To be fair, they don't count direct sales because, uh, as Beddoes well knows, uh, I also sell them on my website a little bit cheaper, a little bit cheaper uh, at the moment." They were on a lockdown. Well done, Beddoes. You've sort of lined me up for a little advert here. Uh, they were on a lockdown free special, which ends as soon as lockdown finishes, guys. So probably all year. Um, you can get yourself one for ten pounds. Just ten pounds to go click on the on the link. Well done, Beddoes. Um, Richard says, "I can honestly say, I don't own any of those books so far. I thought you owned my book." I thought you owned my book, Suggs. <laughs> um, someone shout a page number out and I'll show you what's in the book. I'll give you an example in a minute. I just thought it'd be really cool to like celebrate the fact that I've got ahead of a book out for a whole year. A whole year has been incredible, right? Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward. Uh, the idea is over the next year, I'm doing all this school stuff. I'll talk about that later on if you fancy it, if no one's going to call in. 0742-357-4520. Um, the idea is to try and get that book into as many schools as possible. So I will be trying to get it printed. At, at, well, not cheap, obviously, to keep the quality, but keep it as cheap as possible so I can... Thank you, Helen. We'll get to that in a minute. Cheap as possible so I can get to as many schools as possible, as well as the school plan. Um, hang on a minute. <laughs> Hello, mate. I didn't think you saw me at first. I did. I was just uh, making sure I finished the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Fair right, dude. Sorry? Are you right? Tired, I think is the word. Tired. No. No. Working too hard. Busy busy old day, is it? No, it hasn't. That's the trouble. <laughs> oh, one of those days. Yeah, one of those days where I'm just doing nothing and it's harder work than being busy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yes, your book. I do have your book. What I meant is any of those books in the top 100 I don't own any of. Ah, right, yeah, you don't need to, mate. Don't need to anymore. Don't need to. I've got your book. I I'm think sure. I have a copy. Oh, thanks, mate. I'm, I'm sure um, some of them books are great. I'm not I'm not really... I have never read, read some of them, so um, I'm sure some of them are good. Don't get me wrong. There's some that have been in the top ten for for uh, years, but yeah. I don't know. I like my book, man. Obviously, because I wrote it. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, what I found when I read your book is that it's although it's aimed for getting kids into gardening, an adult can read it as well. Whereas some of the other books that I I believe are in the top 100 are probably written for kids. Yeah, well, yeah, it's very, it's a very, um, well, it's the best thing. <laughs> I feel weird to, to talking about it. I don't actually. <laughs> I love talking about it. Um, best thing is it's written for adults, so it's easy for the parents. Mm -hmm. But it's a good book for kids to flick through because they can see the pictures and pick what they want to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, because because let's be honest, I ain't reading if I'm a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at it, and I want mum and dad to help me make it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you going to write a second book? That's a big question. It's really strange, right? So I have been think. I mean, I have I have been asked this a few times. You've asked me before, I know. And I would like to, mm -hmm. but 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 um, it hasn't cost me lots of money to publish. Uh huh. I haven't made back the. Um, amount that I did put into it, right? 
Um, and also, I put all of my best ideas into this first book. Foolish, some yeah. may say. Um, so the other ideas would be... Um, I'd have to tr I'd have to try them with Olive first, and then you know a lot of the a lot of the ones from the book are properly tried and tested before I even thought about writing book. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you're gonna have to come up with new ideas. Yeah, I'd have to come up with new ideas, and you know the 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 ones from this book have been tried over several years. Yeah. Um, if I wrote another book, it would be ones that you know I'm just trying to make another book. I don't know, but but we we have talked before, haven't we? We've talked about me maybe not. Maybe me writing not a kids book again. Maybe a. Yeah, I think we come up with gardening with mates book. That's it. We need to do that, man. We should do it. There should be a few of us that do it. Let's let's do a gardening with mates book. Sounds like an idea. Get a few people. You got any other mates? No, no, of course not. <laughs> two authors then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what we should do. Oh, we should do that. That'd be wicked. Yeah, I I, I think there's something in that. But uh, yeah. maybe. Uh, it's about your book tonight, so forget. Yeah, that. sorry. Yeah, we're going off the going right off. But uh, yeah, anyway, man. So yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's difficult, isn't it? Because I think if you get published, you get like a load of money chucked it. I don't know. This is a, a hundred percent truth. A load of money chucked it, and it's not all about money, but uh, which is obviously the way I've wrote this book is by not by putting all my best ideas in the first book. I'm sure if a publisher said, uh, if publisher had me they'd be oh don't put all your best ideas in your first but you've got to spread it out over three yeah but but that's possibly the other side of it is that the publisher who's throwing money behind the book is looking to make that money back back so they're yeah. probably also pushing more pushing that book more as well yeah who's yeah. pushing your book <sighs> just just me just there me. you go i tell you what right this is a promise yeah once i make back the money from this book yeah i'll reinvest it into another book okay um i'll hold you to that yeah well we may be waiting that long time <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it is amazon is i don't get me wrong like amazon i would never have a book without um that little local store amazon yeah. um, making it so easy for people to do and and other people like um like my friends from judge our books who helped helped us out putting together and stuff so you know it's very collaborative um approach which i liked yeah yeah, yeah, and it's. I, I believe there's a lot more into writing a book than what we're led to believe. Um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I found it really difficult. So I find it really difficult to, to sit down and concentrate on stuff mm -hmm. and yeah. write. Yeah. There is a lot to think. I think, yeah, maybe I'm. Maybe it's a long time. Like I've, this was start, start. I started this two years ago. This book now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I forget a little bit. It's, it can be, it you, can be quite. Cool. Didn't you start floating the idea when you did the um, you designed the garden at the Ideal Home Show? Yeah. Oh yeah, we talked about it then, didn't we? Yeah. And then I went to the Garden Press event after that. I think. Yeah. Or maybe maybe before and i spoke to um stephanie yeah uh, stephanie, and she said oh he's just go and and um speak to and i was speaking to pit publishers and that then but too good they said they said oh, they can't handle it it's just too, it's too good yeah uh, but yeah interesting man isn't it that's, i love it that's um i'm well proud of it whatever like if it don't if it doesn't make this money back it doesn't really matter like just to have olive as part of the journey and just chuck my ideas out there's been awesome yeah I, and and forget the money side of things you know i mean who really needs money yeah, <laughs> yeah the wife didn't hear that either <laughs> yeah, bigger, bigger, bigger bigger disco light that's for sure bigger disco light but, but the proudness that you've got out of that book and how uh, emotionally attached you are to that book yeah. much much more value to that than monetary value yeah definitely I only joke about the money thing I mean that is why I'm saying I, I spoke to you about this last year and I'm still got to work on it but that is why I'm trying to find a way of getting it because it ain't it ain't um, cheap to get it printed off Amazon no. that is why I'm trying to get 
um, as cheap as possible. At the moment, the cheapest I can actually sell it for is tenner uh -huh. on my website. I'd really like to get it down to about a fiver. Yeah. Um, so then I can sell it to schools as, as cheap as possible because I'd rather get it in more hands so more people can, you know, get take it home from school and go and actually use it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, trying to find uh, somebody that will print that book cheaper. For a penny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think that, I mean, that's my main thing. I just want to get a good message out there, man. It's really, it can be easy to get kids gardening, and um, as long as you've got a bit of a plan, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've got to think like a kid. Think like a kid. Yeah. yeah. Which is easy for you. Not difficult, my friend. Not difficult. <laughs> um, hey, dude, while we're here, I mean, I know we're talking about my book, but do you yeah. want to stay on? while i open this box go on then go on right then. so i've got this box through i can't tell you what the brand was because they were meant to sponsor the show this year but i've not heard back from them but they uh, did send, <clears throat> they did send me this i don't know what's in it so are you ready yeah is it a big box it's a big box i don't know if you've got one at your place have you been sent one i haven't i don't think i've been sent one just the important people then that understand very understandable but <laughs> right, not the big was sent but but what I got a bit more <laughs> send. right? And on a sec, right? It comes in like a fancy uh case, pretty, pretty pointless, really. I don't understand that, but oh, hang on. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, it's a good, it's like a goodie box. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to. Well, I'm going to show you anyway. They never said not to, right? It's a box with that's a mystery box there. We don't, that's another a box in a box, that's always good. The box. Right, let me, how do I show you this without showing? You? Oh, a, a bubble wrap thing. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's like Christmas, isn't it? It's like <laughs> bubble wrap. All right, brace yourself. Right, let me I'm just check. Can't see no problem. So, right, I've got a little squirt of bottle, mate. That's always useful. It's useful. That's very good. Okay. Um, I've got a thing. Let me open it out of the thing. What is this thing? I have no idea. It's a oh. Is that a bottle? You yes, put on the top to water your plants. Yeah, I so I didn't know. I didn't know they made. You, you could even buy these. You must yeah. pop that, pop that into the pot. Yeah. And then water is it? Surely, if you just chuck a bottle, or like a water bottle, and do the same thing, but maybe this just disperses it a bit more evenly, does it? That yeah, feels like because if you put a bottle straight in, that that will come out quite quickly. So that just slows it down, so it trickle water feeds it out. Right. Okay. Well. That's yeah, that's pretty decent. All right, okay. That's good. We've got a... um, What's this? Oh, a, a notebook. Always useful. Always useful. Right, now let's see what's in these boxes. Right, first though, what's in this one? It's, it's garden press event thing. I think, it's, I think it's that, that was the point of it. They were sending it for the garden press event. Oh, right. It's an empty box. I'm not joking. It's an empty box. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that a joke? What? I don't get it. Was this supposed to be in the box? I don't know. It was there to stop it sliding around. Yeah, but come on, put something in the box. Right, hang on. Everyone, everyone watching this should take notice because we have got tin to wing coming up soon. So you could be, this could be that box could be sent out to you. <laughs> Tin to win. Uh, oh, it's a plant. This is. Oh, hold on. I feel like it probably should. Oh, hold on. It's little bloody hours. Oh, sorry. Um, before I could look at the state of it, it's done. <laughs> it's not travelled well, guys. It's a little. Uh, oh, something. I was talking about those earlier. There you are. Yeah. There we go. Little. Um, oh, I think I know which company you got it from now. Well, do you? What from that? Yeah. What they what what they rhyme with? Um, I'm trying to think. Didn't we get a big bag from them last year at the press event? Might have. Can't with remember. With plants and cactus in it. Mm. Oh, you have to what? You have to tell me in the studio notes. Can you do that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um. Okay, I'll take over your show, shall I? Have you kicked me? 
No, I'm, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you did it to us. I don't know what happened. It knocked me off. Oh, it's one of them, one of them shows tonight. Oh, that was good. Well, some of you might be getting some of that. I don't know who's going to win tin to win. We'll find out next Thursday, actually, end of the month. It isn't them. No, it wasn't them. Oh. It's, um, it was... We're having our own little private... <laughs> Yeah, you know, you're just ignoring everyone else. And I know. Guys, oh, right. yeah, it was from them, yeah. Okay, that's unusual. Yeah. Oh, well, that's interesting. Well, if anyone wants, wants to send me stuff, then Lee has <laughs> Skinny Jean. If anyone wants to send me stuff that I can give away, uh, then Skinny Jean, Gardner, Lee has, whatever, whatever the email address is. Yep. Um, maybe more unboxing soon. <laughs> unboxing of empty boxes. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you'll see missing something now. Yeah, I know, right? I'll be I have to tell them. Um there we go, man. All right. Fun times. Um what you you up to much this weekend? Um I've got, well, I think I've got tomorrow off work so yeah. far, it looks like it. So I'm uh gonna hit the allotment all weekend and get a lot of work done down there. Oh, that'd be good, man. Weather's meant to be beautiful. Wow, well, I say beautiful. Pretty good this weekend. That's what I'm hoping for. Got to fix the lawnmower, tidy things up, you know, all the usual stuff. Because I've neglected the allotment over the last couple of months. Yeah. Um, which isn't unusual this time of year, but I just want to get down there now and crack on. Get on and get it into a ship shape. Yeah, makes sense, dude. Makes sense. Hang on a minute. Kirsty said, yes, get Richard hosting the show. Much better. <laughs> do, you host, do you want to host the show? You know what I'm like. I've got to host a show on Sunday, so oh, he, so he's done it now. Okay, we'll treat this like my normal Sunday show while Lee is gone. So um, let's think of a question. Let's think of something to get everyone. I know. What is it you all love about gardening? That's what I was doing on Sunday. What is it that it, it, I'm hoping he's going to come on soon? Um, what What is it everyone loves about gardening that makes them – Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> Sundays, man. So, oh, hey, this Sunday we're 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 hosting together on your show. Yes, yes, you're coming on and helping me out. Looking forward to it, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what we're going to be talking. Oh, we've got an idea, but I'll have to discuss it with you in private. I shall ring you tomorrow. Yeah, please do. Um, Suggs, thanks for joining us. I'll speak to that, mate. Have a good one. Cheers, mate. Hi, dude. Um, yeah, well, hey, we're going to be back uh, on Sunday this week on, on Suggett's show, the Veg Girl podcast. So um, that'll be good. I might ask Suggs if we could stream it on here as well. Maybe. I don't know. Um, right. Oh, yeah. So that was the box. If you want to send me a box, Lee at skinnygingana.co.uk. Um, shall we do? I know what we haven't done. and It's going to be a rollover for next week. Shall we do a little bit of this tonight? Latin, 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 Latin. Let's talk about the Latin. Each week, I usually tell you a Latin word that you have to try and guess, everybody. And uh, this week's Latin, I didn't do. So we'll roll over to next week, but I'll give you a heads up before uh, I tell you. Uh, this week's Latin word is cassia. Oh, hang on, it says it, hang on. Can you hear this? Gazia. 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 I don't think it's ever pronounced like that. Gazia. It's not Gaza. Gazia. It's Gazia. Gazia. Do you know what that Latin word is, everybody? Do you know what that Latin word is? Latin, 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 Latin. Let's talk about the Latin. Just re embellos. <laughs> what, a, what an amazing book. Advert Lee, how you doing? I hope the show's good for you. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, thanks for asking. While I'm reading this amazing How to Get Kids Garden and book. That's right, for me kids. I absolutely love it. It's on offer right now. Just a tenner for the lockdown. Are we on lockdown? Yeah, we are. Let's have a little flick to see what you can be doing with the kids right now in lockdown. 
you can create yourself an awesome little bug hotel for them bugs. What else I hear you say, advertly? Oh, how about making your own mini allotment? There's so much packed into this, and it's absolutely awesome. Just a tenner right now. So go hit the link right now in the comments or the description, wherever you're listening. Thanks. Beddoes makes a good point in the group tonight. He says, uh, Link could be an Amazon delivery driver. Didn't look at the arrows pointing up. <laughs> what's, it, what's in this book? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, early one, I asked you, um, just tell me a number. And Helen got uh, put in the comments. No, page 22. All right, Helen. Let's have a little look. See, let's see what's on page 22 that I can show you from the book. Oh, this is absolutely well timed as well. well nice one, Helen. Um, seed starters. Everyone, seed starters are uh, a great one. Look at Olive right there. Boom. This is like an exclusive. Um, Olive's making... Olive, it's not exclusive. I've talked about this all the time. Olive's making some uh, seed starters out of orange peel there, everybody. Um, I'll read it. I'd... Here's a read them. Plastic pots. They're one of the foot... Not the... Um... <clears throat> Plastic pots. They're one of the worst things in the gardening. They're one of the worst things in gardening. And at a time of writing, they're everywhere and come with every plant we buy. The biggest problem is they're not recyclable. If you buy plants, then reusing pots to sow your seeds is a good idea. Many garden centres now take back the pots. 07423574520 if yours does. So buy your plants, remove them, from the pot and bring them home to plant up straight away, which will save on plastic. Plus, if you look online, if you look at online markets, you'll often find people offering them for free. So there's literally no need to go out and buy any. How many did I put in here? Right, it's three different things I put in this book, right? One of them, cardboard tube. You may have seen me talk about that one. Well, all of these, you would have made. I did a show about recycling. Can I get my words out tonight? about recycling back in Jan. Cardboard tube, great one. Eggtastic, great one for uh, if you have a fried egg in the morning, keep your eggshells, very important. Keep them eggshells for composting, for sowing seeds in, for preventing, but not entirely proven, getting rid of slugs. Orange peel, another good one. Keep your orange peel. Uh, and also mini greenhouse. Is a really good one. I love the mini greenhouse one. Keep your plastic bottles. I know you're saying we shouldn't have them. You, I agree with you. So sometimes it happens, doesn't it? Keep them. Turn them into a little mini greenhouse. Really easy. Do you want a top tip? I'll give you a top tip. Slugs can be a pain. They love your newly planted seedling. So use the eggshells. Not proven, but you can use them. And the mini greenhouse to prevent them getting close. Other things can help too. Try sprinkling coffee grounds around your plants, making beer traps, or creating a dark and damp area where the slugs will gather so you can, let, can collect them and move them away from your plants. I did say, I had someone edit this. It, I did say, uh, so you can collect them and throw them over the neighbor's, into the neighbor's garden. Joke. They said that I shouldn't have. I shouldn't write that just in case someone doesn't take it as a joke. Um, not all my jokes made it into the book, unfortunately, team. So it's, just deep, it's a deep shame. Um, but that is a good one, Helen, uh, to start off the um, the year with. Simple, recyclable seed. Um, simple, recyclable seed starters. Um, Olive must get her looks from her mum. She was so lucky. Oh, thanks, Bellows. <laughs> oh, bad eyes. Um, yeah, if you want to have another look at one of the pages before we end the show at 20 minutes to go, then uh, put a number in and I'll, I'll give you a live reading. There is somewhere on my website, and I need to put it back on there, 
the How to Get Kids Gardening audiobook. It's three and a half hours long, but it is, well, I would say this because I recorded it, brilliant. Um, I wonder if we can have a little listen to it. Let's have, let me see if I can find it. We've got nothing else going on tonight. Um, party in it. Let's see if I can find it for you so I can play a little bit because um, it has just... Right, hang on. Right, where is it? Where is it? The phone lines are open if you want to call in tonight. 0742 357 It's a pretty relaxed show. In the comments, if you want to me do a live read, <clears throat> just chuck a number in the comments. Where's the... Ah, here it is, right. Here we go. Brace yourself, everyone. It's going to come in hard. Hello there, everyone, and welcome. Welcome, welcome. Fast forward, fast forward. To the forward, audio forward. book of how to get kids. Right, down the woods and go. Oh, did you remember that bike? Uh, <laughs> remember that math lesson? Remember that math lesson we had on Monday? Brilliant, weren't it? Whereas, and recently I've just done a school tour, ten thousand children that we got gardening in one um, one session or one week, and met so many great teachers and um, forest school teachers and parents that got it involved. And the kids absolutely love it because, and I, I've said this a few times in interviews, page 102, says Richard. Okay. What is page 102? <laughs> you got me. <laughs> hey, page 102. It goes up to page 101. Joker. Get out of town. This a few times in interviews. It's a bit like when you have a supplier teacher. It feels like you've got like a bit of a, a day off, doesn't it? It's like, oh, easy. Here we go. Supplier teachers in. If you've got a forest school teacher and it feels like you're having a bit of a break away from like teaching and school. One of the people that I always talk about is Stuart. And he's a forest school teacher. And the kids at that school, Ashton Keynes, if you're listening, hey, Ashton Keynes, uh, they'll always be in this audio book now. Uh, absolutely love going to forest school like absolutely love it they're so excited and when i go there they're so pumped and they're talking about having like little bonfires like bonfires little fires doing s'mores never used to do s'mores i didn't even know what a s'more was until they told me huh i'm 32 time of recording 32 didn't even know what s'more was teaching there you go that's what i missed out on um, and the kids love it and they're going home and talking to their parents about it. So do I want it to be a lesson? No, because once you turn it into a lesson, once it's one of them things, maths, English, gardening, it's sort of a chore then, isn't it? It's not exciting and gardening should be one of them things. A hundred percent. I hear what you're saying. It should be one of them things that especially for careers wise, we should be getting more people into gardening. What careers going on around here? And we literally talked about that the other day, don't we? For careers wise we should be getting more people into gardening for careers going on around here ain't i but that is not what i do i'm here to my part in the whole industry is to inspire children to get gardening to begin with there's some great people inspiring uh, people to go into a career but as it stands my job is to get kids excited and started on their gardening adventure so do i think it's important yes that's why i brought that into this book um so each project i've added early learning goals to help teachers uh, and get the pupils gardening it's not your um your usual audio book ever almost the end of the show and me advertly has to go and that rhymes and if you want me to do a cool little rhyme just like that, and advertise your company, then you're very much welcome to get in touch. Lee at skinnyjeangardener.co.uk is the place to email and say, hey Lee, I want advertly to chat about my products, like um, 
and like this. It's a it's a phone that um, you can text on, and um, there's apps and, and stuff on it, and uh, you can call people. It's um, phone. Lee at skinnygingardener.co.uk. Enjoy the rest of the show. It's a it's a phone. Oh seven four two three five seven four five two zero for the last fifteen minutes of tonight show. Uh, big up sucks for calling in early. You can also zap into the conversation just by clicking the link in the description. One of the people that have, or one of the the lovely podcasts actually that have got involved in supporting the show over the past three weeks has been Meet the Farmers podcast. Big up to Ben Eagle. We had on was it three weeks ago we had Ben on, or maybe two, two three weeks ago. And it's the final week of uh, Mr. Eagles, um, Mr. Eagles, uh, supporting of the show. Just want to say thank you to him. There's some great podcasts, especially over. I mean, I've been listening to him a lot more recently, but uh, this week's a corker. Go give it a listen. Meet the Farmers podcast. Link is in the comments right now, everybody. Um, right. I'm going to chat just a little bit about uh, earlier this week. I had such a good start to the week. It was so tiring. I know that I did, I did come on. I missed Monday show, right? And um, I was so tired. So tired. Didn't know that, I didn't know that Tuesday. I was so tired. So tired. And um, I had a great day, though. A really <laughs> great a really great day, uh, two days of filming for the school plan, um, which I've don't I've mentioned briefly this year, but not massively mentioned it. On the eighth of March, we're having a whole week of the school plan uh, because it's launching on the eighth of March. So pumped for it, right? Uh, on the eighth, on the Monday, we are uh, Mr. Mr. Suggett is uh, interviewing me about it because we're launching it. He's saying, "Hey guys, right, everybody, come join." The school plan. Uh, and the Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm just trying, I can't really remember. On the Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to do uh, a watch along of the uh, of the tour, which we did last year. And on the Thursday, I'm not really sure what we're going to do on the Thursday, but it's all going to be based around that school plan. Uh, probably give you a little look at the plan as well on, on the Thursday. I don't know. Uh, well excited, though, to actually something that we talked about from September last year quite heavily on this show. Did I email Mark Mackey today? Can't remember. Mackey, I owe you a phone call and, a, and an email. Um, something that we, we started talking about last September um, that all got inspired by that school garden tour last year um, is finally coming into uh, some sort of action, which I'm very excited about. Um, also, really exciting that to do sort of do some. Not that I'm saying this ain't work. Cause sometimes it is, um, but actually to be out um, social distanced. Unfortunately, I would have loved to give Aid a big old hug, um, but Aidan Dale um, at Olive's school where we were filming it was wicked it was just great to be back doing it so we are filming throughout the year for that and uh it's been launched on march the 8th um for pre-orders for september um so if you want more information there is a link somewhere about the school plan we should probably find it for you at the school garden success plan it's happening actually happening making it happen peeps um, so I'm so excited about that. It was such a boost to start the week off, and the week's just got better and better and better. Um, you know, the, the, the top the week off uh, would would only would only be um, would probably be just me dressed up as Captain Jack Sparrow on a boat or something. I don't know. The dreams are dreams, team. Um, <laughs> for sure. Uh, so yeah, it's been an awesome week for that. Really great. And what's? Oh, hang on. Better just put a comment in. What are your views on rat poison? Better. I'm talking about school gardening here. Yeah? What are my? Oh, I'll tell you my views on rat poison. 
but nothing we put down. Uh, what are my views on rappers? I don't like poison, full stop. So there must be a humane way of getting rid of, of rats if they're running around your house. I don't know I don't know what that humane re- way is, but um rats are animals right as well, right? I don't know. Um no to any sort of poison. It's it's just not also you put put any poor sort of poison down, Bellows. If a little hedgehog comes along, there's a little nibble on it. I don't think it can tell which is what if a little school comes along. I think there's some nuts. Ain't gonna stop it, is he? So I don't know. No, it's a, it's a no to that, Bellows. Anyway, back to school plan. <laughs> I'm just really pumped about it. Just really excited to actually be doing uh something that I feel real passionate about. One of the things that we've really promised, not promised, but targeted for, is to get a school plan in every single school by 2025. Just one. Even just one school plan. One of the really good things, the one of, at least one of the really good things, um, one of the highlights of, of the film and days was that at all of school, we obviously leaving the raised bed there, all the tools, um, and then they're obviously going to be doing the plan as well. And as I walked away, we found a place to put it. So it's it's nice and safe. In Actually, it's in the early years garden, so that's going to be interesting. Um, and as I was walking away, the uh, amazing teachers there, their teacher there was like, oh, we could put one outside every classroom. And I was like, I didn't even tell them that that was the plan. They're like, oh, it'd be really good if we put one outside every classroom and they can all get growing. I haven't even told them what the plan was. That was the plan. So I'm thinking, anyway, 2025, every school, there's about between 30 and 40,000 schools in the country. It's quite a lot. Um but we're going to get some organizations on board, some brands on board to push it, get it out there. And uh, it's all I'm going to be rabbit on about. And the book, obviously the book. It's a party for the book. So, um, so there you go. Um, not the ums tonight. Should we have this, the um, um bow? So why is the bell not working tonight? Oh, no, we're going right on Tangent Central here, right? I have still got, and this is the thing, big up to Suggs for calling in. We've got about seven minutes left tonight. I have still got some VIP cards to hand out. So if you want to be a VIP, all you have to do is call in. Not only uh, do you get a VIP card if you call in, you also... You also get you also get put in the tin to find the cue win. That's right, podcast fans. It's that time that everyone hasn't been waiting for. It's time for tin to win. To win. To win. You've got about six minutes now, but next week is the last week where you're going to win, well, a succulent. <laughs> what else? Some watering thing. Some watering thing. Some seeds. Uh, some water, some spray. I might keep the spray, actually. The sp- the sp- anyway, a load of goodies. I'll tell you all about them on Monday. Uh, the full list is quite a big list and I'm thinking the only way I'm actually going to be able to deliver it is by hand because I'm not sending it in post so if you're going to get it it's going to be when we're out of lockdown because I drive it I have to drive it to your house I'm not paying the pay I'd rather drive (laughs) and you get to meet me the skinny jean up but you must call in to go into the tin those be the rules, everybody. Those be the rules. Um, Suggs follows it up tonight. Quiet on the quiet for a Thursday, right? For a, a day. Um, that's why poison is such a horrible thing. It kills more than just rats. Yeah, I don't think it's right. I don't think it's right, guys. You know, we we're better than that, right? I don't, 
we well Beto's, but we're better than that, right? I don't know. Um, right, three minutes left to go. What should we do for the last three minutes tonight? Anyone, anyone just got something I can riff off for the last three minutes? I don't. I mean, I have talked about. I do talk about the book a lot. I mean, I know it is the book party. It's a very good book. I'll tell you what we'll do for the last three minutes. Let me read. We've only shown you a little bit of it, but if you're new to the book, we could actually listen to the rest of that audio book, can we? Three minutes of that. We'll do that in a sec. Come on. No, yeah, we'll just read it now. Let's, let's have a little listen to that rest of the audio book. Let's do it. Let him do the work. I've done three hours of it. Where is the audio book gone? Unless you've got a question, whack them in the comments tonight or call in. Unbelievable. Someone actually called in. Hello. Hello. It's Beddows. Hello, Beddows. Hello, mate. Are you all right? Yeah, dude. I knew as soon as I mentioned Tin to Win, you called him. Oh, well, no. I was just ringing in to say it's um, it's not me. I haven't put any poison down. Oh, no. I got. Oh, did I not make that clear? It wasn't Beddows, everyone, that he wants it made clear. He didn't put the, the poison down. He, no, uh, I'm just he wondering just found if, one. if, you know, what you think. Well, then I think there must be. I'm not had a look. Maybe we'll have a look next week be a quiet week again um we'll have a look next week to see if we can find some humane ways to um to move them i don't know i yeah, don't think I, it's very I'm, nice putting poison down to be honest i don't even know we have one what so you just found this dead rat just to be a hundred percent honest it was still moving its legs Ooh. laying on its side when i went in the garage mm. um uh, yeah. It's um, yeah. But the cat has been acting strangely recently. So guilty. Who knows? Guilty. <laughs> no, what, uh, no, no. It hadn't been bitten. There was no blood. There was nothing. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Which makes me think it was poison. But it's a, it's a very, it's like a, a murder, murder mystery tour. Yeah. Who, who done we it? Come back a series out of that, yeah. can't we? Well, we can make content out of anything on this show, mate. Yeah, I don't know, just just on the off chance that I do win a ten, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. You can come off and have a look at the the new RHS gardens at Salford, can't you? That's true. Well, actually, that's far from us. Yeah, that's true. They're almost finished, aren't they? Apparently. So I believe, yeah. Well, they were. It's gone quiet yeah. again since since they they had that trouble with moving or pulling deers, was it or something? Um, oh yeah, remember we talked about that? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, they've, they've got very quiet on the uh, almost like it's a pandemic. On no, I think they're, they're trying to lie low for a little bit. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, that's oh, no, true, no. actually. Anyway, yeah, well, I'm definitely get wow. Well, maybe that makes well, you're to be fair, you are on the tin about 100 times over the last two months, so it's a definitely <laughs> a possibility. You never know, you never know, mate. You never know. Um, Mr. Beddows, have a great weekend, wouldn't you? I certainly will. Thank and, you very much. Enjoy yourself. I'll speak to you later. Okay. Cheers, mate. Bye bye. Bye bye. Um, the awesome Mr. Ian Beddows there joining us for the final. As there we go. That's three minutes. Uh, final three minutes of the show. A hey, team, have a fantastic week. It's been awesome. Uh, thank you so much. I know we had a little bit of a replay on Monday. Um, I'll be recording just in case that ever happens a little backup show for that. Uh, we had Danny Clark yesterday and then Lewis Norman on Tuesday. That was a great chat. I know we haven't talked about it enough. We haven't really we did the, the, the interview with a bit of chat. I think we will um, we will look into that a little bit more. With all the abuse Beto gives you, he should have his name removed. <laughs> <laughs> you're probably right Suggs you're probably right um, so yeah it, it, a lot of fun um, I've always had a fun team I have a, that last good always eight. Right, well I'm going to go um, I always have fun, have fun with these shows team uh, thanks so much looking forward to next week we've got some great interviews some great chat maybe going back to a little bit of ground force next week as well uh, to anyone watching on the National Children's Garden week this is basically what our show is <laughs> we've not done a go- We've not really done a children's garden week, have we? It's just basically me talking about myself, uh, Ian Beddows calling in about poison. Um, what else is the show? How do we sum the show up? 
uh, very well. Me talking about Mr. Avatar about that, uh, advertising the book and um, getting rubbish disco lights. So, um, yeah, you've sort of get a, got a, quite a nice view of that. So if you enjoy that sort of thing, Mondays to Friday. Speak to Leo. Cecilia. Cecilia. Or Pacilia. You just read it off the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm on. Oh, I can't hear and on. <laughs> I've done something wrong with the thing. Anyway, Alison Poo is what I got. Good evening, Lee. How are you? Great, mate. Your, your, your signal is always terrible, but I'm good, my friend. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. You got an allotment? When I go, don't put artificial crust on top of me, all right? You're going to get composted, Lee. Yeah, I'm definitely... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Advert Lee here. Enjoyed the show? Good. You can listen to the best of episodes on the podcast every Sunday. That's right, Lee uploads it every Sunday. The best of podcast. So get out of bed, grab yourself a cuppa, and pop in the headphones you can listen to the best of the week or we have some absolute corkers go give it a listen but from me advert lee and from lee see you next time bye bye this is a filmmaker the gardener who said that